<laughs> oh no. This movie's gonna mess me up. Oh my gosh. I'm shook. Well, here we are, months later. I've seen it. I've witnessed the majesty and beauty that is the live action Beauty and the Beast movie. I just got home. It's Thursday night. And I'm just gonna say all you haters can back off because it was so good. I loved it. I loved it. Let's just go through the problem areas people were complaining about before the movie came out. Number one, Emma Watson's voice. I liked it. I thought it was great. Number two, the gold dress. I loved it. I thought it was great. Number three, the new dresses, which also people had problems with. I want every single one of them. Her peasant dress was beautiful. I loved that she had it like hiked up the whole time. That was so cool. I love the finale dress. Oh my gosh, I want that dress. I love the way her hair was put up in the finale. And wow, I love the costuming. It's gonna be nominated, I just know it. The casting was great. Everyone was great. Josh Gad was great. Oh man, what a perfect LeFou. I love what they did with LeFou's character. I don't want to give out too many spoilers, but I just, I love what they did. I love what they did and where they took him and how he evolved. I loved how Belle, as always, is smart and she solved her own problems and she got things done. And Gaston was great and terrifying. The Beast was great. Mrs. Potts, Chip, oh my gosh, Chip was so adorable. And then Ewan McGregor singing Be Our Guest. Are you kidding me? Ugh. I cried several times. One would be, uh, I want to venture in the Great White somewhere, you know, the Bell reprise. Yeah, I cried there. I cried when um, she was walking down in the gold dress and he was walking out, you know, the beginning of the Beauty and the Beast song. Ugh. It was just, and I love, like, I, I also cried. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm ah, ah, so happy. <laughs> and I also cried at the end when she says, I love you, because that's one of my favorite parts of the movie. I, and I, I really love that they kept, like, line for line some of my favorite parts in the movie. Like, they just know, they, they, they just knew that they couldn't change it, and they kept it exactly word for word from the movie, and I, that was my, uh, uh, I loved it. I loved that. How many times have I said I loved that? I'm just really happy with it, and if you didn't like it, then that's okay, but I did, and I love Beauty and the Beast, and would I have liked it if even if it were bad? Maybe. I don't know. But I really enjoyed it, and you can't tell me any different. <laughs> I can't wait to see it again, and again, and again, and I'm just gonna go listen to the soundtrack, because now I don't know all the words to every Beauty and the Beast song, and that's really frustrating to me. <laughs> they changed some of the original lyrics, and they added some new songs. They were all great. The Beast has a backstory, which is great. It really shows, you know, he wasn't just a jerk. He wasn't just born that way, you know. He was made that way. And that's what happens. 10 out of 10, would recommend Am Seeing Again on Saturday with Thingamavlogs at Downtown Disney. So if you're going to be there, say hi. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Just say hi. <laughs> And I'll see you guys next time with a Kids' Choice Awards vlog. Yeah, I went to the Kids' Choice Awards and I documented it. So you'll get that sometime in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.